Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've got another review for you and this one is a really, really good one. I know I give a lot of five star reviews, but I'm telling you, I curate the books that I read and I read a lot of series, a lot of connected stories, and therefore I am finding authors that I really, really like. And Emma Talon, the author of this book, Her Revenge, is definitely one of those authors. As a matter of fact, when I peruse the blog tour requests that come in, and they come in quite a few, I mean, I'm doing at least two dozen blog tours every single month. So, but when I see certain names like uh, Emma Talon, Shalini Bolin, uh, goodness gracious, I could go on and on. When I see certain names, I don't even have to read the blurb. It's an instant yes. And Emma Talon is definitely one of those instant yeses. So what is this book about? As you can see, our primary protagonist is a woman. Her name is Scarlett Drew, and she is a force to be reckoned with. Now, if you like Emma Talon, then you will have met Anna Davis and Freddie Tyler in the family and friends that comprise a strong underworld London underworld family. Yes, a crime firm. Yeah, here I am. The kind of person I am, if you know me personally, and I'm promoting a book about the London underworld. Hey, it's fiction, and it's a different direction, and I love it. I, and I was there for all seven books in the Anna Davis series. That series is done. Now we have her revenge, and we meet Scarlett Drew, and now we have a new heroine, a new person, in a different crime family and let's see what happens again you you know it's fiction hey you know fiction is on different levels it could be fantasy it could be romance it could be mystery it could be cozy mystery well in this case we have a crime fiction series that I really I, I love the uh, Anna Davis series and now we have the Drew crime family series Book one with Scarlett Drew being our primary protagonist. So, who is Scarlett? Well, Scarlett Drew was the daughter of a notorious London gangster. And even though her father was a gangster, her aunt is a gangster, and her male cousins were gangsters, Scarlett had a different objective. She was in college, about to graduate at the top of her class, and had a career pretty much lined up. She wasn't going to join the crime syndicate that her family was running. However, her father was murdered. So now Scarlett becomes completely, almost laser focused on revenge. But there's not only Scarlett, I might have said already, her aunt, and her aunt is Lily. And Lily was pretty much the queen of this syndicate. and. Between Lily and Scarlett, they want to get to the bottom of why Scarlett's father was murdered. And also, now Lily and Scarlett have to find out where Scarlett will fit into this firm that she wasn't planning on being a part of. Now, I mentioned uh, Scarlett's male cousins. I, I didn't write their names down, but I'm pretty sure there were two of them but uh, that Lily had three children, two boys and a girl. Now, I bring up Lily's family because uh, in the story, we meet Ruby, who, um, well, I wanna back up a second. If you watch, uh, oh, I can't even think of the name of it. There's a family that, uh, there's a television drama that's on, I haven't watched it in, in months, but it's on every Friday night, and uh, the. I, I want to call it the commissioner, but it's, it's Tom Selleck and his family. And every Sunday they have a family dinner. That is kind of law. Well, in this family, every Sunday, this syndicate family, they would have their family dinner. Come what may, every Sunday they had their dinner. Now, there's one family member that really showed up at these family dinners, and that is Ruby, who is Lily's daughter. Now, that's really important to mention because Ruby has a big role in this book, as unlikable as she was because of the troubles 
that she was dealing with. And that's, I just, it's just a big factor. And I need to mention Ruby at this point, because I, I, we, we know if you, if you follow series, successive books, sequels, and you know, that you have your Genesis and then you have your Exodus and you have the various books that come in series. Well, the characters are what make a story. So Ruby's drama played into what was going on in the background where Lily and Scarlett were trying to find out who killed Scarlett's father and who was Lily's brother. So you just have to kind of look at this thing, you know, and from a broad point of view when it comes to connecting characters and stories together. So back to the drama and the murder. Well, as Lily and Scarlett tried to figure out, you know, why uh, their relative was murdered, they begin to see that there's a huge plot at play here. And it's this plot that's going on that will, or could pr definitely prove to destroy whatever Lily, excuse me, yes, Lily and her brother, Scarlett's father, have built and what they could have going forward. Now, while this is being done, we do get treated with cameos from the Tyler family. Yes, from the Anna Davis series. I love that. It was kind of like an Easter egg. So when you see that, when you read this and you find that Easter egg, it's kind of a treat. So I found that coming from the mindset of the Anna Davis series, questioning whether or not this new Drew family, Scarlett, would measure up to Anna. And guess what? They do measure up. Scarlett is just as strong, just as resilient, just as compassionate. But she is a wee bit more brutal than Anna, in my opinion anyway. So, I think Emma Talon is quite a remarkable, talented author to present these stories and make uh, them compelling with strong characters that somehow we can connect to, although it's a life that 99% of us, I'm sure as readers, maybe even 99.99% of us would never, ever experience but yet we can delve into that fictional world. We can live in that fictional story for what, how many pages, for 364 pages, and just, you know, go with the flow of the story. And that's what this book does. And that's what this book gave me as a reader. So I'm eager for book two, but for now, this is Her Revenge, book one in the Drew Family series. And as soon as I get my hands on book two, as soon as it's prevented to us readers and reviewers, I will read it, write a review, and come back with more. But for now, that's it. All right. Bye-bye.